Okay, so we've got the Country Living Magazine. They've got a beautiful Easter idea by the dozen on the front. So you can tell that this volume here is April 2021 already. Can you imagine that? Okay, and inside we have the sampler, which is an A to Z look at what is inside this issue, among other seasonal news and notes. Of course, we have the welcome from the editor with the letter A. There's a saying that a half of your life is spent trying to get out of the small town, and the other half is spent trying to get back to that one. As a farm town Tennessee who skipped off to New York City right after college and is now in Birmingham, Alabama, it certainly rings true. Despite my love for the soaring skylines, the salty street car pretzels don't judge, these estate listings in the map dot destinations like Highlands, North Carolina, page 67, and Laurel, Mississippi, on page 69, towns where I imagine I can sip a root beer and pursue the local classifieds like a 1950 Ford truck for sale. As I wait for my prescription at the old-timey drugstore, this issue celebrates small charms of all sorts, pint-sized properties, including page 44 and 52, but it is the places and the friendly faces in the country's best small towns, like page 62, that truly highlight the appeal of swapping hustle for heart, because while you can leave a small town, it truly never leaves you. B. Back Country. They show that the date is April 1998. The cover was a dining bay of the English country style cottage. The issue highlights was a story on an antique cow creamer, a look at sponge painting made simple, and a roundup of quote technology advanced toasters. C. The Country Club. For as little as $2 a month, you can join our new membership community unlimited access to the country dot, countryliving.com. This has exclusive content and more. Visit countryliving.com backslash join for details. Okay, it says, D, did you know the Texas state flower was almost wasn't? In a 1901 vote, the b blue bonnet had competition from the cotton boil and the prickly pear cactus. E, for Etsy vendor, the California chef caterer Lorena Stern uses blooms from her Montecito garden to create beautiful flower press shortbread cookies. Visit her at laurasterncookies.etsy.com. And Laura is spelled L-O-R-I-A, Stern, S-T-E-R-N, cookies, C-O-O-K-I-E-S, period, at Etsy, E-T-S-Y, period, dot com. Okay, so that takes us through E, F, the field guide. Here's where you to find some of your favorite columns. To see how climbing wisteria inspired a springy bathroom, go to page 7 and check out our favorite spring trend in Wild 4 on page 13. Find your new gardening uniform on page 16. Get design inspiration from a small town kitchen on page 18 and throw the season's prettiest picnic on page 22. Make short work of your spring to-do list on page 24 and craft easy di Easter decor on page 28. Consider a new collectible on page 34. Meet a textile enthusiast on page 38 and learn the value of vintage deck cards in What Is It and What Is It Worth on page 40. Browse homes less than 1,400 square feet on page 44 and find tips on co-op care on page 46. And Gather is under the G. Washington Skagit Valley hosts its annual tulip festival throughout April when more than 300 acres are awash in the colorful bloom at the tulipfestival.org. And Horseshoe is H. Find the horseshoe hidden in this issue in it and you get a chance to win a pizza oven and a pizza making accessory from Oni just in time for the parties on the porch, the retail value $569. I is for Instagram. Follow the 14 year old Ella Doyle at life period in period a dollhouse to see a miniature recreation of everything from porch swings to magnolia silos. J is for the Junkin, which is the Mary Randolph Carter, the Junkin correspondent at Carter Junk. This month's treasure is charming china cups and saucers. 
I'm in cups with excitement. I'm in my cups with excitement when it comes to sipping tea out of the perfectly pretty cups and saucers like these Mason Pink Vista Ironstone that belong to my grandmother. Search for your own self-made heirlooms on Etsy or e eBay or even at a flea market table. K is for kids. These fillable fabric Easter eggs are an eco-friendly alternative to the classic plastic version. Buy them completed or craft them yourself by purchasing the pattern and the tutorial for $30 for five, and that's on postalthreads.etsy.com. -E they have a beautiful house here. It's called Lux List Listings for $369,000. As it, if the, quote, haint blue, end quote, topped double porches weren't enough, this recently updated Edmonton, North Carolina cottage packs in with a vintage appeal with the original millwork, painted floors, beadwork, detailing, plus it has a carriage house. The agent is Mary Scott Perry at Hagler at PASCSIR.com. Okay, we're on to M. Okay, M, meet the master hand, or head. Ian Palmer, the assistant photo editor. CL's newest homeowner explains why less is more gone country i'm from atlanta but now live in northport alabama i love that we have a butcher diner and antique stores within walking distance the space for small strategy my wife and i made the most of our two-bedroom bungalow by scaling down the sofa with the furniture no oversized sofa but there's still room for vintage cameras i have a large collection mostly once owned by my grandfather in is by the numbers. A few April issue stats. There are zero numbers of stoplights in the Walla County on page 64. There's 5,744 miles it would take to visit country small, country's best small towns on page 62 in a single road trip. 11,085 combined square footage of nine houses featured in this issue. Okay, on the cover, oh, fresh blooms and wooden eggs make for a vibrant seasonal centerpiece. Photographed by Phillips Friedman, styling by Karen Oslin, Intellectual Property Company. P is for produce. Make the most of in-season strawberries with a salsa. Mix together with chopped strawberries, onions, cilantro, finely grated lime zest, lime juice, salt, and pepper. Q is for a quilt square. The pinwheel block dates back to 1795 and represents the water pump windmills found on the farms in small towns. R is for required reading. And they say April's Country Living Front Porch Book Club pick is Brood. The debut novel by Jackie Polson is $24 at thebookshop.org in which the narrator learns how to care for the brood of chickens in Minnesota while dealing with her own uncertain future. S is for shameless self-promotion. Out now, our spring assortment at David and Harry's at harryanddavid.com, including a tea and fruit with sweets, basket above, other faves are yellow gerba daisies in a wooden crate, and a lemon blueberry cake. T is for tunes. Enjoy the toe tap and small town sound soundtrack from Country Living's associate editor, Natalie Schumann. Famous in a Small Town by Miranda Lambert. Street Fair by Andrew Duhorn. Back Where I Come From, Kenny Chesney, Country Boys World, Jason Aldean. Small Town, Saturday Night by Late Hal Ketchum. Dance Hall by Danielle Bradbury. Just Another Day in Paradise by Phil Vassar. Dime Store Cowgirl by Casey Musgraves. My Tennessee Mountain Home. By Dolly Parton. U is for Made in the USA. Peterborough Basket Company has been doing out handmade baskets since 1854, making them the oldest U.S. manufacturer. Their Easter basket comes in seven colors. $47 at peterboroughbasket.com. V is for Ask a Vet. When it comes to pets, what should I do for spring cleaning? Spring is a great time of year to give pets personal effects some extra attention. Plush toys and bedding should go into the washing machine and through a thorough cleaning. In a bucket, mix one part water to one part distilled white vinegar and throw any hard or rubber toys inside for a 30-minute soak, followed by a warm water rinse. 
Run the pet bowls through a sanitizing cycle in the dishwater to eliminate bacteria. And give your pet's color a soak in warm soapy water to allow it to air dry. Lastly, if your pet has not visited the vet in the last six months, it's time to take a scheduled checkup. Okay, wallpaper is featuring pretty pastels and sweet illustrations of petals and produce, which is like seed packets, quote-unquote, by the Wallpaper Republic is just waiting to grace a garden room, powder room, or she shed. Only $122 for a 33-foot roll at MiltonandKing.com. And you're in the, you know you're in the country when the phrase, I'm going to pick up chicks, refers to the spring dick, spring chick days at your local farm supply store and not the ladies night at the nearest watering hole by Jeannie S. from Murfreesboro. Uh, X Cross Stitch, which is a pint-sized post office that gets their stamp of approval on page 51. And Z, you'll have your very own perch in North Carolina Blue Ridge Mountains during a stay in the nest. A dreamy tree house at the Asheville Glamping. AshevilleGlamping.com Okay. Moving forward. They have this um, beautiful eyelet lace. Now, when I think of eyelet lace, I automatically think of my doilies that after I dust, I put a new doily down, and then I put everything back on and take the other stuff that was on there and, you know, move it around and reorganize it again. But they say this centuries-old needlework technique lends homespun sweetness to everything from bed co coverlets to beach cover-ups. What is an eyelet exactly? Exactly. My mouth is getting tongue-tied. An eyelet is simply a small hole in the fabric that's finished off with embroidered edges. Although eyelet is often thought of as a decorative lace, for example, it also serves a functional purpose. For instance, buttonholes are also known as eyelets and have and many shoe utilize eyelets for lace insertion. Round oval eyelets also can be combined with other embroidery techniques to create elaborate patterns, a needlework tactic known as Broderie en glace. See the textile timeline on page 14. That was page 13. Oh, wow. They have some beautiful uh, eyelet embellishments, which are spotted in the wild. An open weave textile adds an airy element in this breezy Amanda Lindron design bedroom, which is simply stunning. And they show eyelets through the years. And it's just an amazing eyelet uh, thing that you can read about how they can vary in so many different forms and fashions and I'll let you read that. One thing that caught my eye and attention was the picnic in the park which is free range new, new retreat. The country living's bike loving parties and picnics contributors Leela Rose showcases the art of a portable party along the side of the sidekick Bobbin. Mark your calendars for the National Picnic Day which is April 23rd. And uh, they say, Leela Rose may live in New York, but you'll rarely see a, the designer hailing a taxi. Instead, she happily cruises around the concrete jungle, dog in tow on a bike, as she has done for the past two decades. I get out of my own speed, never waiting on the subway, and without the inconvenience of sitting in traffic, she says, biking, of course, is especially blissful come spring, providing the perfect transport to a picnic in the Battery Park above or on Governor's Island. The more daisies on site, the better I love that they're lighthearted and not fussy, says Layla, citing the words of fellow Texas lady Bird Johnson, where the flowers bloom, so hope, so does hope. Here's how the petal and the petal pusher plans a picnic. And they show a bunch of different, like, um, bikes down here at the very bottom. It says, break like Layla, courtesy of these hot haulers. They have a virtual school bus, which is 37 by 23 inch compartment, which is $1,799 at virtualcycles.com. They have a cargo bike, which holds up to 350 pounds at $2,999 at fillafamilybusinessbikes.com. And they have the Coop, which is the boats, the Dutch craftsmanship at $5,699 at thebunchbike.com. I actually have a picnic basket that Grandma got me at Sears. Yeah, I believe it was Sears here in Mattoon. We never used it, but she's, she would kid me and say, well, when you and your Mr. Wright 
uh, get serious. You can take the picnic basket and go plan a picnic. And I'd say, yeah, well, yeah, hopefully. Well, anyway, on to page 22. Menu. The Daisy Buchanan Sandwich Turkey Mozzarella Igrello Tomato and Pasta Sweet Chocolate Dipped Pears. And it shows the uh, picnic basket, which is French-inspired bite basket. Charleston taste maker, the Terra Goudard, started May Cavus Ratten and the Vietnamese and the basket and the French, respectively, to stylishly accommodate the Hepper Holes at 175 and they from maycabares.com. They show a DIY dog bandana. You cut fabric into a 13-inch square, fold into a triangle with the right sides facing sewn together, leave a small opening, turn right side out, and sew the opening closed, sew a ribbon along the side for the tying. Daisy napkin rings. I think I always loved that. Um, it says, for each napkin ring, cut 3 8 inch wide white gross grain ribbon, which is $9 at Amazon.com, into five three inch long pieces, round ends, glue one piece on top of your next, offsetting as you go create a flower shape, glue a yellow button in the center and a link to the green twine to the back for tying. They show a cocktail, which we're not going to repeat because, let's see, yeah, it does have liquor in it. Picnic friendly provisions. Layla transport sandwiches with turkey mozzarella, agila, tomato, and pesto, and bamboo steamers. See the opposite page for the checkered paper sheets. Nine dollars at Amazon.com. Add the New York deli flair, the chocolate dip pears. I love Breezy Hill Orchard at New York City Green Market. Says Layla are decadent, but they're so so simple to prepare. And it shows how to craft a daisy crown. With field notes, braid daisy stems together on the fly or more sturdy crowns. Start with a flower crown base, $13 for three. Budget wedding bouquet at Etsy.com. Cut daisies so the stems are about two inches along. Bundle a few daisies and wrap the stems together with floral tape. After you have eight to ten bunches, attach them to the crown base with the floral tape. Make more bunches if necessary. Fill in gaps with a single bloom. Tie the ribbon around the notches on the base and... The, uh, place on your head. Okay. We're going to do one more page of reading. I probably will take a small break and come back because I want to see Chrisley Knows Best. Garden Variety. Easy Spring Spruce Ups. Make the most of April in the dirt with these products, pottings, plantings, and more. They show a hunt and gather with the eggs inside a wire basket with beautiful flowers. It says... The find is a vintage French egg collecting basket. The flowers are an assortment of lilacs, anemones, scaboya, lavender, aluminum, and rascousis placed in a water-filled glass vase that's nestled in the wire basket, surrounded by dyed eggs or painted wooden eggs, $12 at Amazon.com. It says, the berry planters, strawberries need little space to grow, making them an ideal pick for the upcycled container garden. It shows a pallet that they've simply used two boards, one to support the pallet for, stand, pallet for standing up and one to support the pallet for sideways. And that's really cool. It says it's a shipping pallet landscape fabric bottom to and back to the pallet fill with soil, add, the lean, add plants and lean it against a wall or add two by fours to stand it up. They have a wine barrel that you can Lay the barrel on its side and use a saw to make an opening to fill it with soil and plants. A laundry basket is easily transformed into a towering planter when filled with soil and plants. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll stop here and pick up at 12 Easy Easter Crafts, the field guide. So probably about 1 o'clock when uh, Chrisley Knows Best is over, I will come back in and we'll cover all 12 crafts of Easter. Uh, I just basically want to finish this book up tonight, which might take us a little bit because it's got such great ideas for spring and, and helping you guys out with getting ready for the holiday. I hope it helps you all, and I hope you pick up this amazing book next time you're out and about and you see this at your stores. It's Country Living April 2021, and you don't want to miss out. This is part one of two.